Hello there and welcome. I'm Nick Chamberlain and we're gathered here to talk about our exciting new advanced compositing in Nuke course. We're going to go ahead and take a quick overview of what you can expect to learn throughout this class. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So you may be wondering what makes this class different from the other Rebel Way compositing course. Well, there's really two main differences. The first is that the advanced shots in this class focus on compositing with real footage, real photography. We're trying to make sure that we can blend our fake elements with our real environment. And that's a much trickier thing to do, in my opinion. And the other main difference between the two courses is that this one assumes you have a little bit of nuke knowledge. You by no means need to be a master, but you should be comfortable enough with the software to navigate and kind of understand how nuke works as a whole. Where in the other course, we're assuming you've never touched nuke before and build it from the ground up. So that's the main differences between these. Let's go ahead and talk about what we will be learning in our first week. So week one is all about the foundational principles. We're going to cement in the theory of compositing to make sure we're all on the same page and have a good base to leap off of. We're going to complete this pretty straightforward shot here just to make sure we're all on the same page. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the next week. And so this one is a little bit more complex of a key. You can see that we have kind of some roto lines we're going to have to cross. He starts going in front of some very bright backgrounds towards the end. We're going to have to deal with this reflection in his helmet and replace that entirely within comp. We're going to take a look at laying this scene out in 3D space so that we can get an accurate Z defocus and make sure that everything is looking good there. So this shot's going to be a lot of fun to kind of up our game another level from week one. And so once we are done with week two, we're gonna go ahead and start moving on into the really big complex shots. We're gonna move into this big old drone shot here where we're flying through real rock formations, but we're gonna be changing quite a bit from the original footage. If I go all the way back up here, you can also notice the nuke scripts getting significantly larger. There's a lot that's going on. We're changing the sky. We're adding this crash spaceship, the statue here. If we go a little bit further in, you can see that we've actually removed this mound here. We've painted it out, and that's a little bit trickier than it may seem. So the first week, we're really going to focus on removing this little mound here, painting it out. We're going to take a look at ways to roto these mountains out using a 3D track and stabilization. So week three is going to be a lot of 2D copy things to prepare us for the big week four. And in week four, that's when we're going to start going ahead and taking a look at integrating these CG renders that we have. We have a drop ship over here. We have that crashed ship. We have this statue right here that we go ahead and fly past. And so week four is going to be taking a look at kind of combining all of that and adding some nice atmosphere in 3D space. And so we're going to learn a lot of really cool stuff there. We're actually even going to use LiDAR of the scene that we have loaded in to kind of make sure that everything is tracking correctly and everything is relatively placed in the right position. So there's a lot of really fun stuff to learn in weeks three and four on this shot. And then the real big ticket item that I'm really excited about is our week five and six shot. And that is taking this here and replacing this background entirely. We're doing a fully CG foreground there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the original footage. So you can see there's quite a bit of a difference between the two of these. And so we're going to do a lot of things here. Again, we're going to take a look at kind of integrating the ground, making sure we're retaining those original shadows, dealing with kind of intersecting with our key because he crosses at a couple different points paint out some of this nastiness in the ground that we don't want. And this foreground is entirely CG. And we're going to take a look at kind of getting that to work. And we're going to look at a couple different methodologies you could use to kind of get this to look good. We are going to take a brief look at deep compositing. We're going to show you kind of how it works in Nuke as the everyman can use it. 
And we're going to talk about the pros and cons of that and how you would do it in this scene. We're going to talk about Z defocus with deep. It's going to be really exciting. Deep files, they are as cumbersome as they are helpful. And we'll go ahead and talk about that in this class. And we're also going to build up this background. This is made probably of like 10 to 15 different photographs that we have here, different plates. We have boulders to spice some things up. We have little CG buildings that we're going to add back here as well. We're going to go ahead and extract waterfalls from little pieces of footage you can find online so that our real waterfalls are moving. We're going to add a bunch of really nice looking cloud and haze textures over here just to make sure that everything looks really, really nice for the final product. And it's going to look really, really good at the end, something like this. And one of the big things I try to emphasize throughout my class is the kind of process and theory of how everything works, because this shot in particular actually took me about 80 hours to create. You can kind of see the progress that I went through, and we're going to talk about this creative process, how I approached it, because when we're doing it in this class, the shot may take us, you know, six to eight hours to build, and that is just a fraction of what it took me to get to this ending on my own. So we're going to talk about that process so you can apply it to your own shots because I want this to be as applicable as possible. And that's what you can expect to learn from this class. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you got what you wanted out of it. If you have any questions, go ahead, shoot us a message at Rebelway, and we'd be more than happy to send you an answer. So thank you so much for listening, and I'll catch you in the next one.